Hello YouTube, um, this is Biller02 with a new video for YouTube. Um, in my last video, I showed you how to dump your UMD. Now, since it does take 1.3 gigabytes, it is quite, um, big and heavy on your memory stick. Here, I will show you how to compress that ISO to a CSO on Vista or XP. Um, first of all, on the download link to the right, to the right, um, it will sh show you a download link to Mega Upload. Download the PSP ISO compressor version 1.4. Once you are done downloading, it should be one small file it will give you this PSP ISO compressor. Now just put that in a place in your desktop. Once you have put it here, go to the file the ISO you have dumped. Um, I put it in my PSP folder and it is a Daxter UMD Daxter ISO. Um, wait one second there. Okay, once you have seen your Daxter, it is 1.3 gigabytes. It can be any video, UMD, or game, ISO, video, ISO. Now, if you are in Vista, this is the problem that most Vista users have because they're so newbie. Um, just right click on PSP ISO compressor and run as administrator. You do need to have a administrator account for this to work. Once PSP ISO compressor version 1.4 has been opened, you will have to put compress ISO to CSO. If you are wondering why there are JSOs and DACs, those are abandoned compression systems which could compress better than CSO but the game practically sucked like shit. Um, now once you have compressed ISO to CSO oh and also for the PSB ISO compressor you can convert CSOs to other ways and also uncompress the CSOs to ISOs. Um, Make sure you have compressed ISO to CSO selected. Press the triple dot on the input files. Go to where you put your Daxter ISO, as you can see here. Open it. It will give you this message. It will show you where it is located. And then the output file will be a dot CSO. You can delete the input file after conversion, which means deleting the .iso. You can also browse to the output folder, which means go to where you compressed it. Um, w if you would like to compress it, wor worse or better, it depends. You can go from a one to a nine. The more the compressed the game will lag more but depends on your PSP. Now do not move anything else. I will check both of these and then press compress. This will open a a command box. This only Windows XP and Windows Vista are the operating systems allowed in this. As you can see it will show you the average rate of for the ISO file, it will also you see show you the percent of compression 
that has been done. This may take a few as you get around one cent second per one and a half seconds. So this will take fifteen to twenty minutes. Once you are done, um, you, it will browse to the folder. You can now put the .cso to your ISO folder on the root of your memory stick. Congratulations, you can now compress any ISO. You can now decompress any CSO because some of my CSOs actually lagged a lot. So I d decided to make them into ISOs. Since I have the 8 gigabyte memory stick, I do not really care about how heavy it is on my memory stick. Below zero to out.